I've got a 1936 Olympic pin from Berlin, Germany. Where in the world did you find this? I'm just assuming it's a Peter Max. <laughs> that it is. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below, I subscribed, and you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. On today's video, we will be looking at Pawn Star customers that were dumber than a rock. A cannon! <laughs> <laughs> what can you tell me about this thing? Well, it's an 1890s Hotchkiss cannon. Field artillery collector Chuck rolled in his 1890 Hotchkiss cannon into the parking lot of Gold and Silver Pawn, aiming to land a deal. Things were looking up when Rick asked his weapons expert, what can I pay for it and still make a few bucks? To which he replied, I would say 40,000 all day long. Of course, Chuck is pleased, but then he immediately commits the fatal flaw of any negotiation, which is to reveal his bottom line number before the haggling even begins. I expected about 30,000, Chuck says, instantly alleviating himself of a potential 10,000. Rick seizes on Chuck's misstep and agrees to 30,000 as long as the cannon still fires, which it does and they do shake on the deal. Obviously you could say, well that's the seller's fault for undercutting himself, but clearly Rick knew what he was doing and expertly capitalized on the seller's low expectation. What do we got here? This is the most beautiful acoustic guitar you have ever seen. A Gibson Custom Shop SJ200. This custom guitar belonged to American guitarist Mary Ford, who was the wife of the legendary guitarist Les Paul. From 1950 to 1954, Mary and Les co-wrote 16 top hits and sold millions of records. Les's solid body guitar design also effectively changed the sound of rock music. Already a rare guitar made even more valuable with its actual connection to Les Paul, this would become Rick's largest guitar buy of his career. After the owner's initial ask of $250,000, Rick did well to snap it up for a meager $90,000. Hey, what's up? Hey, how you doing? I have a samurai sword that my family's had for a long, long time. I really don't know much about it. In what is probably the most egregious example of the guys knowingly underpaying for an item, Corey slashed through a negotiation on a 15th century samurai sword that could potentially net the shop over $10,000. The seller David claimed to be a lawyer who kept the sword after a client used it as collateral, then failed to return the claim. Just before the haggling started, Corey admitted via backroom confessional that he'd, quote, seen a few of these sell for $1,000, which is why he was opening an offer of $800, which was laughably shady. The seller, woefully unprepared for the negotiation, said, When he offered me $800, I wanted to jump up and do a dance, but I had to keep my cool because the price was still going up. They agreed on 1500 and an expert later determined it to be worth around $5,000 to $6,000 in its current condition. However, should Corey be willing to do a $3,000 restoration, he could fetch as much as $15,000 for it. That's a score, big hoss, Chum Lee says as he and Corey high five. Hey, what do we got here? A whole lot of silver. Let me help you out real quick. The old man is crazy about silver. He's going to be like a kid on Christmas morning when he sees this. One gentleman decided to purchase over 200 pounds of silver. By the time he walked into Rick's shop, 12 years has passed since his investment and the price of silver has skyrocketed. With a set profit margin, Rick knew he could sell it immediately, so after carrying out some checks to ensure the silver was pure, which even included some drilling, he was happy to snap up the hoard for a pricely sum of $111,000. With that said, this will bring us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, once again, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and as well as that, comment down below saying I subscribed, and again, you'll be entered in our monthly shoutout giveaway. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys on the next video.